Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War Simulation. Not too long ago, I pitted every state's favorite type of liquor against each other in a big civil war. Now we are looking at the most popular liquor brands in North America. 13 of them, to be exact, reside in North America, Canada, U.S., and in the uh, South and Central American uh, countries. So we have New Amsterdam Vodka and ENJ over here in California. Tito's Vodka from Texas. All right. They're like the most popular, so they're the biggest. Patron and Jose Cuervo, both in Mexico. We got Bacardi in Cuba. Captain Morgan around Jamaica, I believe. And Malibu is um, from one of those other uh, Caribbean islands. Jack Daniels in Tennessee. Jim Beam in Kentucky. Evan Williams also in Kentucky. And then to round it up in Canada, we have Crown Royal and Fireball. Let me know, did you know uh, some of these were from the areas that they are? Like, I did not know that Crown Royal and Fireball were Canadian. All right. Um, let me know what is your favorite brand out of these? Who do you want to see win? Um, who do you want to see knocked out first? Maybe you can't stand Fireball. Maybe you had an atrocious first time getting drunk with it like I did. Um, but maybe you're a huge fan of Patron and you want to see Patron go all the way. So we'll see what happens. Um, let's get this started right now. All right. Obviously, I think the ones in Canada are going to have a lot more area to eat up, which uh, will be advantageous. But I feel like there's not a huge concentration of brands this type around this time around, and they all have a somewhat decent chance, except maybe Malibu, who struggled to get uh, some of the Caribbean waterway. Um, we'll see how that goes for them. All right, no, no one's really battling it out except Jack Daniels and Bacardi in Florida. All right, now we have uh, Tito's, who is able to wrap around in Mexico, and now they're suffocating. Poor Jose Cuervo, who may be the first to fall, and they are. Meanwhile, Bacardi, uh, actually conquered by Malibu, who was able to do this naval landing on Cuba while Bacardi was distracted with Jack Daniels in the southeast. All right. Jack Daniels actually able to land on Cuba as well. Same with Captain Morgan. So Cuba is going to be a hot spot, as it usually is in history. Now, Fireball taken out by Crown Royal. Uh, Jim Beam's going to try to get some of that Canadian territory. Meanwhile, everyone's teaming up against Tito's, and it looks like uh, Evan Williams is going to be the one that takes out Tito's Vodka, the most um, money-making liquor brand in America. So, big race for uh, Southern Mexico right here. Uh, Malibu was able to land, same with Jack Daniels, Evan Williams, and Patron was able to move down south. So that's very interesting. Malibu may have exhausted all the resources doing that move, though. They're very close to being taken out all the way. Meanwhile, Evan Williams now taking out Patron. So uh, no more Mexican brands are on the table, all right? Just the Caribbean, U.S., and uh, Canadian. Meanwhile, Crown Royal pushing down into Jim Beam. Malibu finally, finally fell to Captain Morgan, the captain ruling uh, a good bit of the Caribbean now. ENJ moving into uh, Baja, the area of Baja over here. Um, now we have this big, ugly war around uh, the Ohio River Valley and whatnot, around the big cities of Chicago. Jack Daniels now moving moving west, setting their sights on a different location. Meanwhile, ENJ conquered by New Amsterdam, which is going to have a, a lot of this western North American territory right here. So it looks like Evan Williams ran out of economy. That's going to be bad for them as J uh, Jack Daniels moves west. So does Captain Morgan now landing onto uh, Florida. So Jack Daniels better watch their back, and their brother Jim Beam is now... Uh, uh, taking control, turning their backs against them. We have Evan Williams, conquered by Crown Royal, but it looks like New Amsterdam is going to get a lot of that. Jack Daniels can't afford to get too much just based off their economic situation. So we have New Amsterdam, Crown Royal, Captain Morgan, no longer Jack Daniels because Jim Beam 
stabbed him in the back and then got taken out by Crown Royal. Oh, now Crown Royal is being teamed upon. Captain Morgan has made landfall dramatically, but now New Amsterdam, uh, wow, now everyone's turned their back on Captain Morgan, so this is not good for them. Let's see if they can peace out before they reach Jamaica. They do, all right. Actually, I don't know if this is accurately Jamaica, but it's close enough. I mean, th these are islands that I drew anyway, so it's not going to be accurate. Captain, The captain has fallen. Now it's time for Crown Royal to fall, it looks like. Will New Amsterdam really be the winner? It looks like it may be the case. Yes, they are in this first uh, round. New Amsterdam is able to get the one up on everyone else so let me know are there any new amsterdam fans out there i'm very curious is that really your favorite type of liquor or your favorite brand i ain't judging it's just that i don't know anyone personally that drinks it down here so uh let's run this up again all right let's restart that way other people have a chance to um see if their favorite liquor can Win it up again. All right. I know a lot of Jack Daniels fans are down here in the South. They want to see him win. Maybe Jim Bean, Evan Williams. All right. And I feel like Captain Morgan had a chance there. All right. If they can continue owning the Caribbean, they could really be a dangerous player in this uh, simulation. So let's run it up again. See if anything changes. Okay. Let's see if Malibu's taken out first this time. They are. Bacardi wasted no time. Now setting their sights more on Mexico than fighting over Florida. And it looks like there's a big Canadian battle between Jim Beam and Fireball. Alright, now Bacardi's pushing up into Florida once again. New Amsterdam conquered by E&J. So the defending champion fell second, um, second to fall. So that that's sad. Alright, it looks like Bacardi was taken out by the captain. So, Bacardi didn't last too long last simulation either. Now we have Patron being conquered by Jose Cuervo. Jim Beam rushing in and taking out Fireball. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Alright, now we have Crown Royal and Jim Beam duking it out in the uh, great North Canadian uh, wilderness. Meanwhile, Tito's pushing into Jose Cuervo. We saw a similar move last round. But Jose able to peace out for a moment. Jim Beam, man, picking on Jack Daniels, and this time it's not going to work. However, Jack Daniels unable to expand because of their economic status. So Crown Royal going to get a lot of that fallen territory. But meanwhile, Tito's expanding quickly into Crown Royal. Same with Evan Williams. Ooh. Captain Morgan has South Georgia, South Florida, some of Mexico, and uh, all the Caribbean. Jack Daniels uh, taken out by Evan Williams. The band of brothers turning against each other. It's now turned into the Hatsfield and McCoys with liquor up, up in here. So, all right. Next up, Crown Royal is going to be taken out mainly by Evan Williams, but Tito's going to flood in and get a lot of that Canadian territory as well. But they may have pushed too aggressively because now everyone is turning on to Tito's. Tito's is the next to fall. Evan Williams able to keep their economy strong with the great expansion. Uh, e &J didn't do it as well, but no one's attacking them, so they're able to recuperate. Meanwhile, Evan Williams pushing the captain out of the south, saying, you get back in the Caribbean, you. Get back onto international waters. Stay out of the states. All right. Now we have Evan Williams and Jose Cuervo teaming up to go against e and J. Meanwhile, Captain Morgan's going to try to take some of that um, southern Mexico land while they're distracted, but it's not working out too well. Not at all. Jose, Cu oh man, now Evan Williams turning on his partner. Jose Cuervo is done. It's Evan Williams and Captain Morgan. The captain versus Evan Williams. All right, who's it going to be? Obviously, the captain's in a precarious situation, and once again, he is going to fall late into the simulation. So, uh, Captain Morgan, all right, he's been like second, third place, first two rounds, but congratulations, Evan Williams drinkers, because 
Y'all got this dub in the second round. Let's run it up one more time, all right? See if New Amsterdam can reclaim their crown. See if Evan Williams can hold the crown. Or if we will have a uh, new champion in this final third round. So definitely hit that like button if you've enjoyed it so far. If you want to see more of these type of simulations, hit the subscribe button. Join the Southern Woods community. And if you're one of these other supporters like Jack Daniels, a big Crown Royal fan, maybe you're a Malibu trooper, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. Show your support, show your love, because they're going to need it right now. Who will be the first to fall? It may be Malibu again. I, they're, they're probably in the roughest spot. However, they're able to barely land into Cuba. All right, We'll see Evan Williams, defending champ, having to deal with Jim Beam who wants the crown for themselves. They've gotten somewhat close before. Meanwhile, Bacardi taken out by Malibu. That's huge for Malibu. All right. They were just barely not able to take out Florida. Oh, uh, but then Malibu got taken out by the captain, the king of the Caribbean, the captain of the Caribbean. Uh, he's been, he's really owned that area of the map, this whole uh, video. Meanwhile, Jack Daniels, no, taken out by Evan Williams. Again, it's like the Hatsfield and McCoys out here for these whiskey and bourbon drinkers. All right. Meanwhile, Patron, uh, once again, looking like they may fall early on. Uh, we'll see. E&J moving east into Tito's, who has done fairly well this video, but they're going to get taken out next. That may save Patron. That may save them. Um... Meanwhile, New Amsterdam, once again conquered by E&J, and then Patron uh, taken out by Jose. Um, so, New Amsterdam, maybe round one was a fluke, because uh, these last two videos, they weren't able to survive that well. Meanwhile, Fireball taking out Crown Royal, that is a flipperoo from what we've seen um, in the past rounds. So, Fireball may have a good chance this time around pushing into Canada and pushing south. Looks like they're going to take out Jim Beam. So, man, Jim Beam and Jack Daniels fans uh, not able to do too well. Meanwhile, Jose trying to push into E&J. Uh, Evan Williams struggling. Evan Williams taken out by Fireball. So now Fireball looking like the strong one alongside E&J, Jose Cuervo, and, of course, the captain. Man, I feel bad. For Jack Daniels. I, I just feel a need to sing this real quick. Jack Daniels, if you please. Da -na 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 -na. Not me to my knees. I'll stop singing. All right, Captain Morgan. All right, they have landed. The captain has landed onto Florida, pushing up the Florida panhandle um, and into South Georgia. Meanwhile, E&J... Uh-oh, no, no, Jose. Jose said, no, senor, I'm taking out the captain. Oh, man. And now Fireball being absolutely routed by E&J. So it's Jose, Cuer Jose Cuervo and E&J. And it looks like E&J may run away with this one in this simulation. We will see. We will see what happens. Man, I can't believe the captain, dude. Uh, e and J is the winner. Are there any E and J drinkers out there? I have never drank an E and J, and I have never met an E and J drinker. So definitely show uh, that you are there in the comments. So round one, we had New Amsterdam vodka. Round two, we had Evan Williams, um, which is whiskey, I believe, either whiskey or bourbon, but I'm pretty sure it's whiskey. And then E and J, which I don't know what the hell it is. I forget. I'm pretty sure it's a a whiskey as well. E being able to get uh, round three so the commonalities we had patron struggles all right um captain morgan able to get close but can never actually steal the crown all three times he was within the the final four but just couldn't couldn't officially get the mainland you know he's just restricted into the caribbean it seems like um but yeah, if you like that video again, hit me with the like button. If you want to see more of these, hit me with a suggestion and the subscribe button. And if you want to see outdoor videos, food reviews, other type of content that you may be interested in that I do, definitely go check that out as well. 
This one was exciting. If you want to see it run up again, you have to smash that like button and show that you want it. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.